Welcome back to Saxforp Survival, episode 4. So last episode I left you off September 2 in the morning. Um, as I said I'm going to do some logging off camera. Uh, we've got the Iveco truck around here. Now we cannot secure these with ratchets because this is a hook lift container. We can drop the container off but no doubt it will uh, shuffle them out. So we might lose a couple on route to the uh, sawmill. So we'll have to make do what basically makes it to the end. And so let's head down. Uh, we've got a whole truckload of dogs now. A whole load of logs. Uh, we'll take it nice and easy. There's one there off. Managed to cut a few just a little bit bigger. This is only two trees are worth of tree. Oh, two trees worth? Two trees been cut down. So it's quite a lot. For only two trees. So we are going to take it nice and easy down to the store. And then actually, I can't know if I purchased the roller. We did get the roller. So what we'll do is we'll grab this one and set up a quick follow me and we can grab the roller on the way back down. I might get charged a bit of a worker fee for following along, but hopefully not too much. Ooh. I think that's probably the bumpiest part we're going to come across. So as long as we don't crash into any cars, we shouldn't lose any now. Let's just go into the cab so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Let's uh, make way for the lumberyard. Unfortunately, this is a left-hand drive mod. Um, as you can see from the signs at the bottom. I might just slow down actually for the tractor because it, it can only go about 31 mile per hour. Don't want to lose the uh, follow me trail. There he is. And it's going to be a lot slower coming back as well, the rollers. I might drive the rollers and get the truck to follow me. Not quite sure if it's actually legal to drive with uh, concrete rollers on the main roads. Maybe it's not. So we might have to... Uh, Take our time. There was a nice connection of track of uh, fields that are connected quite well on this on this map. But unfortunately, down to our farm, there's no sort of back ways. It's just it's just the main road, unless we take the very very back way off the main road. Ooh, that's like where I'm going. Just to recap, uh, the intent today is to we'll just take the shortcut through this yard again though, because it's much easier than go on the main road. Um, yes, we're going to get the rollers and we're going to roll in. Let's just wait for our follower. 
Oh, I'll get that in a sec. Oh, we're going to roll in the seed we put in the ground. So it's going to roll the stones in. And it's also going to roll in um, because this seed that we have, it's a bit uh, interesting to say the least. It's more of a spreader. So I think it's only fair that we try to sort of roll in the seeds that have been spread. Because they haven't, in theory, been like planted into the ground. Just for a small bit of realism. Um, just to save money on the mod. And buying a full on cedar for 12, 13,000. And then it does also give us a yield bonus. We've got precision farming off. Precision farming is off. So it should really should apply the initial base game rolling fertilizer stages or yield bonuses. That is a sawmill. See how much we get for this load. Two big trees. 4,245. That is perfect. That was two trees worth. So actually, we, we probably don't need to go crazy and then every tree we see. Maybe just use it as a bit of income when, when needed. Looks like there's a bit of an open land here, look, for expansion of the sawmill. If you wanted to build on the map yourself. So yeah, two, two big trees if they're cut. And if we did cut them longer as well, we'd get more money. So we could potentially make about 10 grand for two trees once we get the equipment to, to transport them better. Which is uh, pretty good to know. All right, we're going to hook this up and then we'll get the seeds as well into the back of the lorry. And then I'll meet you back at the farm because this is going to take quite a while to get this down there. Right, back at the main farm. Let's get the uh, seed rolled into the ground now. Hopefully this works. Unfold roller. So we should get a new texture. There we go, we have. Okay, so I'm going to now just sort of retest the course play course now. Because this is going to be a, a slow, slow, long job. Right, there we go. Rolling is commencing. Stay in 10 minutes to complete. So, let's jump out. And we will have a look at the crop calendar now and see. If any of this changes, so needs rolling is the blue, uh, yellow is stones, which they should get rolled into the ground once we roll. Then we'll just come off and on, see if that updates. There we go. So, yeah, that is now going to be a nice rolled seedbed, and the weed is brown, obviously. And we have got grass fields enabled here so grass there we go and then canola over here we need to set a course play for this field as well so that seems to be going smoothly now we hope but let me just tab over to this one uh, well, we are going to need fuel so I think let's go and buy oh not like where I'm going We'll head over to the fuel tanker. So that was a uh, 55 litres of diesel for one tank, which is not too bad actually. That. I'm going to take the hit now, because we've got some money now, we can actually just get logs cut down if we have extra money. Let's repair this tractor. Well, 982. 
done. Right, one thing I'm going to do while this is going in the background is just have a quick tidy up of uh, Mr. Scarecrow here. So let's go. Decorations. What can we have to keep him company? We've got the seasonal stuff here. So it's just some plant pot and a uh, snowman and a barrel. I don't see why not. We can have you there. They're cool in the Halloween time when the pumpkin's there. And then clothes line. No. I mean, it's not going to hurt having a little toilet for Mr. Scarecrow back there. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better instead of just having a, a bit of mud there. Look. A random bit of grass or. Old grass, little bench, little scarecrow, and a toilet. Lovely job. What's the bet? He stopped. I oh, know he's still going. He's still going. It's good. Three minutes to go. Back to the logging area and cut down a couple more trees. Let's find one that we don't really need. Uh, that one that looks good for me. I don't want these little split end bits, they're just a nightmare to load. Okay, so there we go. We've actually now got wood chips from Catland Trees, which is a new feature I didn't actually realise was a thing. Nice detail on that as well. So we can actually get a bucket or a uh, wheelbarrow of some description and try and load these into here at some point. Or at least scoot them all up and make a pile, get a pile going. Yep. Got flying logs again, so I'm gonna put them in this way. So if we do lift up the hook lift when it rolls back, they're not gonna all roll out or tip out the sides like last time. Or well, we hope they don't. So I'll just do this basically until the work is done, and then we'll get them on the build three and just keep cutting logs down. And as soon as that's all done, I think that will be us for the episode. We should move the truck back a bit, but the benefit to the hook lift is we can lower it down a bit lower, make it a lot easier to load them. I'm just hoping we don't lose too many when it tips over.
and sideways now. So do it. Overflow. Yeah, we are going to need to acquire like a stump gun though as well at some point. So I'm going to leave the stumps in. I'm not going to use the chainsaw mod to get rid of stumps. So we'll need to find an old mod we can use. Right, there we go. Let's shuffle these up to the edge. And then we can hopefully try and get another stack down the end as well. And then we'll lift up the hook trailer. And then we'll stack on top anything after that. Because I think if we do it all full and then tip up the hook lift, we might lose quite a few logs. Okay, let's find another tree not too far away in the clearing. I reckon this one here towards the trailer this time. Oh, that was close, that was close. At least when we destroy these little bits, it does uh, leave wood chips for us. Okay, that is the second field rolled in. Now, we'll set up the final one now on field three, or course play three at least. So once again, we're going to create a job. Field three. Keep it exact same again, generate force, and let's line them up on the start point, make life easier. First waypoint is good to go. And off you go. Hopefully there's no issues on the uh, perimeter of the field. Let's just let it run round once because we did do it manually obviously. So it doesn't miss too much. And so far it looks like it's bang on the edge which is good to see. So this should roll in. Now the next issue I think we're going to face once this starts growing is potentially weeds. We've got weeds turned on. So it'll be managing those next. Make sure we don't lose any money uh, and, and yield. Because we don't put the extra work in for the rolling and then lose out due to weeds in the field. <coughs> Excuse me. So that seems to go off our hitch. And also, this time I torch on, so it's getting a bit dark. We lifted up the hook lift trailer, and it went off with a hitch. Luckily, we got some logs in. Um, I think we can probably find ourselves a small tree to cut down. 
This one here looks good for me. And then stack up as many as we can on this tree here. Uh, let's reverse though, make our life easier. Yeah, luckily they were stacked in nice and tight in the bottom and they went none of them fell out when we we hooked up, which makes things a lot easier for loading up. Okay, let's get this small one down for now. Not a spruce tree, this one, so it's going to be a little bit uh, wonkier compared to the previous one. We are going to get any excess though now. Let's just get as much as we can in. Can we lift that as we can. Just want to squeeze whatever we can get in now on top. Right, pulling out too much. Uh, the good news is winter will be up in a couple months time as well, so we will get more money for logging in the winter. But this is a good, good enough for now just to get us started at least. I feel like we probably are going to lose a handful of logs. Let's go drag this one. Let's try in half. A bit heavier towards the end of the sleep. This is why it's much easier with the uh, trailer on the floor. Okay, let's head down to the store. Take off this last load and then that will be us for today. The rolling should be done by the time we get back, hopefully. And the money should hopefully also uh, put us back into the uh, positives as well. Because we spent quite a bit on the uh, water. 25,000 litres of water. Take it easy a second. But that will keep us going now. At least we can get uh, the lettuce growing in the long term. We need to off camera, as I say, find ourselves a decent sale point for vegetables and like a farmer's market or something similar. Uh, but I'm sure we can find space on the map to deliver those. I'm not sure if we have them to selling always, if it just sells automatically to the game itself or whether it will sell to the nearest sell point I don't know because realistically we could treat it like a little you know a farm shop where we have people just come and help themselves and take lettuces as they want which means we don't interfere with the sell point Go lumber mill. Let's see how much we get for this load. Three thousand five hundred, which puts us back up to eighteen hundred. So at the moment, um, apart from waiting for things to grow in the ground and then lettuces to grow, we are pretty much stuck until those things complete really, unless we get a loan, which I don't particularly want to do. So our only income now is going to be logging and I don't think people want to watch me do maybe three or four episodes worth of logging. So I think what I'll do between now and sort of 
at least until we've got enough cash to get other things on the farm. I will do some logging between now and episode 5 and then continue once we've got some money to get some either some animals in or some more equipment, a baler and whatnot. Um, just to keep things somewhat interesting, but otherwise you're just going to, like I say, watch me do logging for the whole episode. Which is not the most enjoyable thing to watch. So until episode 5, uh, thank you as always for watching. Um, please do, as always, like the video if you've made it to the end. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do feel free. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.